Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching a preview to the next four episodes. That's going to be 179, 180, 81, and 182, featuring a very, very lovely Swedish single malt known as Macmura. Uh, Macmura, it started in 1999, I believe. Yes, Explorers in Whiskey, the Swedish original since 1999. And, uh, well, as you can tell by this bottle, uh, you may have, well, perhaps you watched my review of that. That was about, you know, six, eight months ago, I suppose. And I think uh, in part due to my efforts to procure the bottle, uh, thanks again, George, in Ontario. And, um, and then my, uh, my, my long, uh, what can I call that, uh, research of the taste of the bottle, my review of it, and getting to know uh, a couple of the people that work for the company, namely the master blender, whose name is Angela Dorazio. So thanks very, very much, uh, Angela. And also uh, another uh, employee of the company known as Lisa Collins Wickman, uh, who was, um, I guess, the one who carried through with all of the planning of an event that happened earlier. Uh, well, I guess by the time this comes out a week ago, I suppose, uh, it's a day ago or two to uh, today, uh, and um, anyway, so there was a, a, a Twitter tasting event on Twitter. What's that? Well, uh, people all around the world uh, all get the same uh, package, and uh, everybody's trying the same whiskey at the same time, and uh, using you know the same uh, hashtags so that you can follow each other and compare notes and so on. So it's kind of like a marketing event, but it's also a very social uh, event as well for those people that are into uh, whatever that would be. Could be whiskey, could be wine, could be beer, could be coffee. Anyway, uh, anyway. so again, a big thanks to both uh, Angela Dorazio and also uh, Lisa Collins Wickman. And uh, now then, uh, so we're gonna have a, a, a four-way review of four different expressions uh, from Macmurra. And since this is an introduction, I thought, well, I'll pour a little bit of uh, the one I remember, and that is uh, Macmurra Whiskey, first edition. Uh, this one right here. And um, this is 46% ABV, natural in color, I would assume, uh, using smaller casks, which means that the whiskey will uh, develop faster I can already smell that oakiness uh, coming through. And we're going to borrow this glass. Sorry, it's got a label on it, but at least it's not a, not a direct competitor anyway. And that should be enough. That's quite a bit, actually. Creamy. Mmm. All right. Uh, nicely designed bottles, I'll say. Um, now... So what are we going to do? Um, well, we're going to start with uh, this one. Uh, and that is the Macmurra Whiskey Expedition. And this is a sample directly from Macmurra. Uh, so we know that it is um, a pure, untainted uh, sample. And as you can see, it's a press sample, not for sale. Uh, as you know, most of the whiskeys that I show on the channel here, I purchase myself. I didn't purchase these, although I did have to pay a, a hefty amount of duty. Um, so I think uh, I can say that I am um, uh, independently involved. I have a uh, no interest other than my own uh, to review these. Uh, anyway, now um, Expedition, I've got a little bit of a fact sheet here as I whiff this one. Okay, again, that's the um, uh, first edition, so a few years uh, back. Expedition, uh, this one is a very unique whiskey. This is something that is available uh, for people who are traveling aboard cruise ships. So that's quite interesting. It's sold in 50 centiliter bottles, 500 milliliters, half a liter, and 46.1% uh, EBV. Now that seems to be the Macmurra, uh alcoholic percentage. This one is also 46.1. And... Uh, now, why would they do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, let's suppose that um, the whiskey is going to be sent to a critic 
and the critic is going to put the results in a, a trade magazine. Uh, well, knowing that it's 46, they'll know the ABV, they'll know the uh, percent alcohol, the proof. Knowing that uh, can give them hints as to uh, where it's from. Um, so probably there are not that many uh, whiskey companies that release their whiskey at 46.1%. Uh, so the taster uh, probably is someone who's a professional, a professional whiskey taster. Yes, they exist. I wish I could uh, do something like that. <clears throat> well, they'll know that it's Macmara, or they'll know that it's one of the whiskeys uh, that offer their whiskeys at 46.1%. Anyway, um, now, being 46.1, I would imagine that it's unchill filtered. Does it say so? Um, it doesn't seem to say so on the bottle, but we should assume it. And um, a mix of casks of uh, American oak and Swedish oak. And um, then, very interestingly, uh, the, the whiskey is finished in uh, casks that previously uh, stored or previously aged Swedish cloudberry wine. What is cloudberry? Well, I think when you think of the Swedish berries, the candy and the shape of them, they don't look like raspberries. Uh, and they're in the shape of the Swedish berry. So Swedish berry, you can think of it as a cloudberry. That's the, uh, I guess, the, uh, the common name. And uh, the Swedish name, I'll give it a try. It, it is uh, Hjotron. I think that's right. Let's hear. Hjotron. Hjotron. Well, I can't quite do it. Hjotron. Uh, so that's the Swedish berry. Uh, in Danish, whoops. Uh, in Danish, that is a little different, and it's known as uh, uh, multipea. Let's see if I got that right. Multipea. Multipea. Well, close enough. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anyway, so it's been finished in uh, a fruit wine cask. Uh, berry, a berry, a berry wine cask. So that's quite interesting. Um, anyway, so that will be the first review, and um, uh, let's see. There was something interesting I wanted to read, and I'll do that now rather than read it during the review of uh, the whiskey uh, itself. Uh, where are we, Macmara? No, the one. Okay, here we are. Uh, Macmara, and we look at not seasons but whiskey, and then single malt. I'm navigating the website right now. Give it a little taste, shall we? Now, this also has some Swedish oak in it. I think it's about 5%. And um, it is different. There's a different oakiness to it. Um, it seems more nutmeggy. Now, where are we? Expedition. So that's a limited edition from Macmara. And... Uh, uh, so here is the uh, Macmara website information here. Expedition celebrates the whiskey craft and the never-ending search for new and inspiring expressions. Our philosophy is simple. We want to make whiskey that will take you on a journey to discover things you didn't know you liked. Where can I find Expedition? Um, cruises. The Viking Line. Uh, the uh, Talink uh, Sil Silda, I guess that's the Finnish line, Burka Cruises, uh, uh, Ekerolinien, okay, so it looks like uh, maybe an Icelandic uh, line. Uh, then you can also find it on some charter flights, uh, local charter flights, if you're going to uh, get a chartered flight to tour around uh, or do business around Scandinavia. Um, in flight, Tui Fly Nordic, Nover, Primera, Jet Time, DAT, uh, Bra, uh, Brathens, SAS Charter, SAS Charter, I should say, and uh, Norwegian Charter. Also at some airports, 
It's available at Arlanda Stockholm, Landwetter, and uh, Gothenburg, uh, Sturup Malmö, Malmö, and um, uh, Skavsta uh, Airlines. I'm not going to read the tasting notes. Uh, interesting looking bottle. I'll put a picture of it uh, probably over here uh, while I'm uh, actually doing the reviews, maybe even now. Okay, so that's going to be the first one. Now, uh, this one, quite like it. It's a bit younger. If you're looking for uh, older aged uh, whiskeys, then you're going to want to wait for uh, for these two guys right here. Okay, so that was um, Expedition. Now, then we're going to move on to the wide release of uh, the 10-year-old. Okay, so Mac Mira 10-year-old. That's going to be, I guess, a permanent uh, part of the lineup going forward. Uh, only released uh, a short while ago. And a little information on that one as well. Uh, let's see. Go right to the website. There's that ten year old. Let's go back and have a look. Um, also, forty six point one percent ABV sold in fifty milliliter. Uh, sorry, this one's <laughs> this one's fifty milliliters. Of course, it is. And um, uh, this is also a mix of American oak and um, uh, American oak, and also Swedish. And I think it also has some Oloroso, uh, Oloroso, Oloroso sherry matured wood in there. Uh, let's see if I'm right about that. Yes. Uh, Macmara 10 Years uh, is a Swedish single malt whiskey produced in limited edition. Matured for 10 years on high quality bourbon, Oloroso and new American oak casks. This whiskey has an elegant character with notes of vanilla, green fruits, caramel and smooth oak. Uh, 10 years is best enjoyed as it is before or after dinner. So that's the 10 years. Uh, okay, and then we're going to move on to the oldest one. And this is a uh, special edition. Uh, this is part of their Moment series. Uh, the Moment series is something that uh, Angela Drazio, the master blender, uh, started when she sort of happened upon a few casks uh, that seemed so different and so elegant uh, and delicious compared to uh, the others. And she thought it would be wasteful to simply blend them into uh, the larger releases. Uh, anyway, so the Moment series uh, was born and it started, I think, in 2010, if uh, my memory is correct from the website. And the latest one is the McMurray Whiskey Moment uh, uh, Tov. Tov, I think that's pronounced that way. Moment Tov, uh, T-O-L-V. 47% ABV, so a little bit bigger uh, on the, uh, uh, the strength. Um, and first fill bourbon, and this one is 12 years old. So 12 years old for that one. Um, and unfortunately, that's the one that leaked. Uh, so uh, still leaking a little bit. But uh, thankfully, more than enough to carry forward, carry forward with the review. Uh, so that'll be the third one. And uh, as I just take another little sip of my first edition. Mm. It's nice. Um, the last one is going to be uh, Svensk Rock. I think it's pronounced Rock. I hope it's pronounced Rock. <laughs> um, I guess I could verify that. Let's see. Switch things up. R. Okay. What does it say? Well, it just says rock. And the sound is? Rock. 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 Oh, I can't do that. Rock. <laughs> okay, Svensk. Rock. Rock. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so this one, uh, this one is peated. Yes, it's peated. And it's not just peated, but it's also had uh, something different done to it, and that's also very Swedish. Um, I'll just read it out to you. Svensk Rock uh, has a smoky character with notes of peat and juniper. Um, dry, smoky aromas with light tobacco leaves and herbs balanced with a slight mineral saltiness. Anise and green fruit. Oops, I read some tasting notes. Oh my god, oh well. Uh, together they form a unique Swedish, uh, Swedish smoky expression. To achieve a perfect balance of smokiness, we have used peated recipe of different ages. Svensk rock is made of only natural Swedish ingredients and is not chill filtered and doesn't have any artificial coloring. Well, that's good news. And uh, back to the website. La la la. Here we are. And. Come on now. Whiskey. Single malt. Now, anyway, so this is going to be what's going to happen. And the Svensk Rock, so I'll just read that out very quickly. Mmm. It's very refreshing. And coming back to this now after months of uh, doing other whiskeys and uh, different ages I can really taste that uh, Swedish oak effect now this is from the website again in Sweden we have used juniper to season our food for generations now you can enjoy the timeless flavor in a golden form that being the whiskey the aroma is slightly smoky and spicy with a much smokier flavor and peaty Jupiter peaty Jupiter notes Jup Jupiter juniper notes Together, the flavors flavors unite in a quite unique Swedish flavor. Uh, Swedish smoke, sweet, Swedish smoke is the only okay. This I should say Swedish rock is the only smoky single malt whiskey made on Swedish ingredients only. Well, that's interesting. So it looks like Swedish barley is also involved. Uh, does this claim it's a single malt? Um, hmm. Well, it's listed in the single malt category, so it looks like that is a single malt, but the barley must be Swedish then, so very cool. And I guess that also means that uh, Swedish ingredients only. Well, if, if the uh, oak is an ingredient then, uh, then it should be also, well, no, sweet American oak and Swedish oak. Uh, oh, even some uh, Oloroso casks involved here. So it's rock. Now, uh, 46.1. No, this one says 46.1. Now, oh yes, it's the Tav, tav that's uh, 47. Okay, so 46.1% ABV. And the cask sizes range from 30 to 120 liters. All right, so, um, well, stay tuned for the series. Hope you enjoyed that one. I'm going to leave that totally unedited including all the times where I'm sifting through websites and uh, oh well because I want to get it up and uh, out as quick as possible so no editing for that one uh, and I'll try to keep the editing to a minimum because I think that is a really really it's really hard for me I, I spend a lot of time editing some of these uh, videos um, and that's really slowed down my uh, release rate I think I was doing uh, three a week regularly, starting around last year, around this time, uh, all the way up until about Christmas or thereabouts of 2016, and uh, and then I started to really uh, uh, put a lot more, uh, I'll call it fancy effects uh, into the reviews. So I'm going to maybe uh, cut down on that one, and we'll focus more on uh, the information. Uh, letting the whiskey be the uh, the star of the show, and uh, me to a lesser extent, and uh, that's what we'll do, okay? Uh, please subscribe to the channel. By the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode, uh, for the Korean market I have released, I have launched uh, uh, Whiskey Whistle Korea. Uh, completely separate channel, entirely done in Korean language for you. 
a little bit of English in, in there. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit of English in order to, um, uh, you know, teach some of the stuff about whiskey uh, in English. That maybe I don't even know the words in uh, uh, in Korean. Okay, uh, so that's what'll what'll happen. Please uh, register, register. Please uh, subscribe to Whiskey Whistle Korea. Uh, I'll put a link to the uh, the website uh, in the comments in the comments in my uh, description. Okay, and stay tuned for the series. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to edit that out either. Stay tuned for the series and we'll see you for review number 179. Goodbye.